Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for spending time with me, Martin, at the craft store this afternoon. Had an amazing show with Paola, and we continue in that theme with stamping. And I'm very, very pleased to welcome Sarah, <laughs> who I still can't get a name right. And I've worked with her many years ago as well. Sarah, how I should go, look. My wife's called Sarah Jane. I can't get it wrong, can I? Well, you can call me Sarah Jane. Jane's my middle name. What is it? Yes. There we go then. All right. So <laughs> I, now I can't get it wrong. Sarah, it's fabulous to see you. How many Thank years you. is it since we worked together? Probably about eight or nine. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah. I remember the Stamp Addict show, though. I remember mm. that it was always incredibly popular, and I know that it is here on the craft store as well. So we've got loads to show you. If you just turned on and you're thinking, hang on, what's going on? Yes, does that face, but from the other channel. Well, if you don't know already, uh, Hachanda Global has bought Crate and Craft. They run the craft store, they now own Crate and Craft, and we are uh, joining together as one big happy family in that sort of um, time that it takes to merge together, uh, you'll see lots of Crate and Craft uh, presenters on the craft store, and you'll see craft store presenters on Crate and Craft. So that's why I'm here today, and it's great to have you company. And I've had a whale of a time, I can tell you. I've really, really enjoyed it. And this is my last show, and I'm hoping it's going to be as popular as all the other ones have been. So let's, just for old time's sake, let's ask Sarah to tell us a little <laughs> bit about who Stamp Addicts are. So, okay, um, September this year is our 30th birthday. 30th? 30th, I know, 30. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we started on Idle World. Yes. The one of the first craft hours. You were, yeah. It was a monthly craft hour. <laughs> mm. And then we were there for the launch of Crate and Craft, but it was all pre-recorded. It was all airtime. It was, yeah. So I think it was several years before we went to live TV. Yeah. So by that time we were warmed up. We were ready. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't quite so scary. Now it's come full circle. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. So, and it was wooden stamps as well back then. Yes, I remember. We, I think it was about 12 years ago we transitioned to manufacturing our own unmounted, deeply etched grey rubber stamps, which we supply to you on cling mounted cushion. So you just peel off the plastic, put them on your acrylic block, your stamping press, your platform, whatever you want to use, and they're ready to go. And the designs? Who comes up with Ooh. the designs? Well, um, I can't draw. <laughs> right, fair enough. I'm the kind of organisational side of the company, Vicky and Ideas. Vicky is the artistic side. Then we have um, Judikins, our American... We've been working for, with them for almost 30 years. Wow. So they now allow us to manufacture their designs unmounted. So we're the only place in the world you can buy Judikin stamps unmounted. We have Sherry West, who designed the Flockers. She's our American designer. She's an artist. And then we have Terry in Scotland who um, does all the beautiful animals, the real life kind of nature type styles. Okay. So um, I do the words and we the technical stuff. <laughs> Lovely. All right, well, we've got Judy Kinn's designs today, I believe, for you. So we need to get into it and show you everything we've got so we can get some demos in as well. What I do know is you've got some brand new items, you've got some great prices, and we've got some great demos to come as well. So let's take a look at them, shall we? Uh, let's start off with this collection here. It's the Starbursts and Sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Not two words you put together on a daily basis, really, are they? And a sprout is something that would go nowhere near me at any time of life, to yes, be honest. Yes, but this is more of a sprouting oh, plant. Oh, Not right. a Brussels sprout. Oh, got you. OK. <laughs> Idiot, Martin. OK. They're so, plants sprouting from the ground, and then you can use the starburst as the blooms or the sunshine or Christmas background, all kinds of different things. Yeah, to give you an idea of the size, because obviously the demos will do that, but here's the, here's the stamps for you, and they are already mounted on your cling for you as well there, look. So there's the starburst and the sprouts there. And a couple of examples to show you. They've used this one in a Thinking of You card, and you can see the starburst in the background. Um, this one's going home with me if my wife's not watching. <laughs> Uh, a fantastic Valentine's card, and we've got the starbursts used here in this really tall uh, card with a, uh, a trio of images on. And I I'll think just that's possibly done with the shaving foam technique. Oh yes, quite a lot of these are from our design team, so there's oh, a, a wide variety of styles. Love the shaving styles foam technique. Yeah. I've not seen that for a while, and then this one as well, which is stunning because there's some in, uh, in white embossing on here. Hopefully, you can see the little bit of shine on that. But just a couple of examples of what you could be doing with these fantastic uh, stamps. So there they are, the Sprouts and the Starbursts. Two stamps, 20 99 and quality goes without saying. Right. 
Yes, of course. It's Flex Extravaganza, though, isn't it? Don't Ooh. forget that, which means they are on Flexi Buy if you want. So you can get them for, what, £10.50? Simple as that, over two payments. So don't miss out on that. Right. They're really trying to catch me out here, aren't we? <laughs> right? Look at the next one. Right? These are from our uh, American designer, Sherry West. Right. So this is the Stamp Addicts Birthday Flockers. Correct. Flockers. Right? As actually, in that's flock not too... Flockers Birds. Yeah, that's not too bad, actually, because I had to do five shows once of Cut, Tuck and Fold. <laughs> That was worrying. That was worrying, I can tell you. And then, of course, I had followed by that, I had two shows of Tatty Twinkles, which was even worse. Oh. Yeah. You know, that was the day when you thought your job was going. Seriously. So, Flockers, I've got no issue with that. Right, so this is a Stamp Addicts Birthday Flockers Cling Mounted Rubber Stamps. Of course, you're going to get four of them. Here they are. I'll hold them up two at a time to make it easier. They are really groovy characters. Look at those. So, you've got the two birds there. Look at those. They're awesome. And then you've got these three, dare I say it, little Flockers right here. Had to be done. And then we have your uh, sentiment as well. So, you get all four of those that says happy birthday you've got all four of those so when you stamp them out these are really quirky have a little look at these it says a bit more than just happy birthday yeah happy birthday you old bird yeah i was gonna get i was saving that sarah was saving that happy birthday you old bird so i won't be taking that one home um and then we have this one look look at these there they are these are superb really quirky uh, have another look at this one as well, a bit of um, embossing gone in on this one, a bit of uh, glossy accents, I should say, on there as well. Or Take diamond glaze. Pardon? Diamond glaze. Diamond glaze, okay, sorry, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's one of those things where, you know you vacuum the floor, you call it something else. Yes. When you yes. use washing up liquid, it, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's one of the weather, sorry. Oops. Uh, right, here we go, here with them again, and I'll just show you one more because that is superb as well. Look at those. Okay, so 647361 is your birthday flockers, all four of them, for 25 99 But remember, Flex Travaganza as well is going to halve that price for you over two months. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Now, this is one I'm a bit more comfortable with. These are Celtic knots. Yes. <laughs> uh, or as somebody said in my ear during one show many years, no, they're not, they're Celtic knots. <laughs> I'm going, no, no, they're Celtic knots. Celtic are a football team. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah, football team. <laughs> yeah, Celtic knots. There you go. Um, have, oh, hang on, upside down. There we go. There we go. Um, so there you can see the two there. And again, the detail is brilliant. I have to say, Sarah, it's nice to see um, rubber stamps rather than polymer stamps for a change. Well, we do both, yeah. and they both have their place. Yeah. But we are predominantly rubber yeah. because uh, we can make it ourselves. Yeah. But also, there are things we can do with the rubber that we can't do with the polymer. Just, yeah, detail was one of them. Detail, I mean, the detail on this cross, I know, I know you well. can't come in close, but <laughs> have a look at the detail. Look at that. The detail on that is extraordinary. And then look at the detail there. I mean, that is wonderful, isn't it? OK, so a couple of examples. You've seen one with the cross. Let's show you one with the Celtic knots. And I think the Starburst is on there as well. It is, yes. Yeah. Mix and match. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that detail. It's unbelievable. 624309. There's two stamps, £17.99p. But don't forget, Flex Extravaganza, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right. So, you've already been shopping ahead for this one. When we were prepping this show before, I looked at this and thought, this is going to be popular. This is the bead curtain, OK? And I'm going to put the stamp down here so that you can see it next to a sample. It is just, just superb. Look at the detail on that. And there you can see how that's going to come out. Sarah's even come to have a look. <laughs> well, otherwise, I can't see what's on the screen. Well, come around here, come around there, look. There, you can now. There, look at that. See, that that's, detail. That sample's on vellum, embossed in white onto vellum. There's vellum? I think so. Maybe not. I can't tell from Do you there. know what? No, I think it is. <laughs> no, that's card. Oh, it's card. It looks like vellum. There's probably one in really here with vellum. It looks really good on vellum, though. Vellum, yes. I like this one. This, I don't know what they've done to this to get the effect after this, but it's super shiny. So I made this one yesterday, and it's stamped on the front of acetate, and on the back I've mixed some brush markers with diamond glaze. And we filmed it while I was doing it, so we put it on YouTube last night. So it's in our Stamp Addicts YouTube channel with instructions. Right, OK. Uh, and look, you can see the background used here, used here. And I like this one as well, used here. 
and this is a really attractive card as well. I would say more of a topper. That, you'd use that as a topper. It's been made sort of like, you can see there's two pieces to it. So sort of made like a, a topper, you put another card. And the little flockers I've got in here again, look. <laughs> there they are. There you go. Brilliant. Three double four zero four seven fourteen ninety nine for those two. Right, I could show you more, but I'm going to take you to the website where you can see everything in the show, because I know you want to see more demos, don't you? You want to get demoing, you want to get stamping. So there's all the products in the show. I'd like to say, I know, listen, it's, I, lo I really do like the Craft Store website. I really found it easy to find my way around. <laughs> it is and easy. Last night, I'm sat at home thinking, right, I'm working with Paola. I've, si I've watched the, uh, the, the, the One Day Special live, but I haven't worked with Sarah for years. I need to see a, a Stamp Addicts show. So I just went on the website for the, re you know, the Rewind, mm -hmm. typed in Stamp Addicts, one came up, I watched it, and I thought it was really cool. Yeah, really it good. is easy to navigate. It's, it's yeah. nice. Impressed. They won't let me through the doors at the other place tomorrow. No. <laughs> there, look, look at that. That's really clever. You can go back and watch. The, uh, sorry, you know, I, I just think that's really, really good. Well, well organised. Right, let's get demoing, shall we? That's what we're here for. And when they're gone off of that website, we put them on our YouTube channel. Right. So. Okay. Cool. Uh, one thing you can get in touch: studio at creatingcraft.com. If you are that lady, no, no, we're not creating craft, are we? I knew I would. <laughs> That's the only time. I still say her chanda. That's the only <laughs> time today that I've done it, and, and Meg was on it like a car bonnet then. She really was. <laughs> Crate and craft. <laughs> Let's go to the demo. <laughs> I thought I'd get started as soon as you're getting yourself in trouble. Um, so I'm stamping the starburst using a clear embossing ink and the white powder. So I've got the big one. Let's have some little ones so obviously you can't see much at the minute because it's white powder on a white card rule of thumb when you're embossing don't stamp more than two before you powder otherwise it might dry depending on the uh, the temperature the lights and how uh, wet your ink pad is so maybe one more of that one over there and a bit more powder oh, running out of powder pop it in there this is my snappy tray that comes with the anti-static yes we've bag. got those in the show haven't we and i did i did use the anti-static bag on the card first just to make sure there was no extra fingerprints so this is another of the starbursts so i'm using three out of four i'm gonna pop that one in there and then i think i've got room for one more just a little bit there okay so the last bit of powder sometimes i also run the anti-static bag around the tray especially if you're using sparkle powders because the glitter can stick quite a lot so that's now I pressed a little hard in a few places let's get rid of that we do recommend that you trim the stamps as close as possible and you can see these came as a sheet but now they're very very closely trimmed to the designs just a good pair of uh, scissors is all you need the non-stick ones are good so I'm going to heat this melt the powder Again, it's not very impressive on TV yet, because there's no colour. But we will get some colour in a minute. This has launched so many crafty careers. We've had so many people email over the years to say that they were flicking through the channels, probably looking for something on Dave or something like that, you know. And they saw somebody holding a hairdryer, what they thought was <laughs> yes. a hairdryer, yeah. over some powder, and creating this incredible... And that was them hooked. And they've watched and then they've yeah. started buying and they've become fully fledged crafters. Some of them have even ended up as guests on the channels over yeah. the years. Well, our, I think our, our most watched video previously was the shrink plastic. And I remember the first time we did that on Create and Craft. Mm. Mm. Um, I was actually in the gallery that day and mum was on air. 
and everyone in the gallery just went absolutely crazy and they made her do it three times mm. because and it was a giant butterfly and the I, way it curled up and then uncurled yes yeah so i used to love shrinkies as well um i remember uh, being at the nec one year and uh, some people were uh, basically queuing up for my autograph bizarre but they were and <laughs> And they waited for ages and ages, and it was a lady who had a, a very young daughter with her. I would estimate she was around about eight or nine years old, and she came up, she went, hello, Martin. We've had to wait because she, pointing at her daughter, wants your autograph. And I was like, oh, well, thanks ever so much for waiting. Signed it. That was Carol and Hayley from the Dreamies. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that, look at that. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it makes me feel old. I don't know. <laughs> But amazing how it's, it's all sort of gone into one, one big family. Right, sorry, do carry on, please. So, so I've spritzed the page and I'm sprinkling on, these are um, what, dye-based watercolour powders, 13 arts. Okay. When they're in stock, they're on the craft store website. So I've got two different colours. Oh. And then I'm going to spritz again. So this is where we get all our colour from. Hope... Oh. We'll see if I've added enough. So you can see that blending into the... Look at the explosion of colour. Ah. So you never get tired of watching stuff like this, do you? <laughs> never. <laughs> now the studio's gone like... Quiet. Hold, everybody's <laughs> holding their breath. So you can, if you've got too much colour on there, you could dab a bit off. I'm just going to take it off the embossed flowers so you can see. I mean, you could do it in one colour, like the card you've got over there. Stole this from a design team. She did it with the blues. So we've just done it with the... But I use pink and purple because we always use pink and purple. And then it's easy to clean up because it's just water. Now that's going to take quite a while to dry. OK. So what I would then do is... Which way around are we? <laughs> so I would then stamp one of our clear sentiments. And it's just as simple as that to finish the card. That actually is really, really impressive. Yeah. It's just a very simple... T you could do it with um, drops of your reinkers, all different kind of... All your pigment mm. powders. Mm. So many different ways. Yeah, no, it's fabulous. Right, let me quickly show you uh, some embossing powders. I've got the uh, black and white embossing powders here, uh, which you can see. There you go, I'll put, them, I'll put them there for you. The black and white embossing powders and also one of the uh, the tiny trays as well, which these obviously uh, flip it's together and click together. That's a, So that's a row of three. Oh. And... <laughs> you get three. You get three. Impressive. And they, they pull apart. Um, I won't do it. I won't pull them apart. No, but they, they pull apart and then you, when you get them, the same as the snappy tray, you crease it in both directions and, and you can see that they then hook together. Oh, clever. And the reason we fold it in both directions is just to make sure it sits a bit flatter. That's clever. Um, and then they actually stack as well. And there's like a little funnel for your embossing. Yeah, and if you're using different three... We used to do a lot of three different colour powder... Three, uh, three different... Yeah three different colour powder embossing. So we'd have all the trays lined up, then afterwards you could stack them, move them aside and then come back to it later. Perfect for your beads. That's really clever, Sarah. And then when you're finished, if you want to pack them away, just remember where you put them because they can tuck away nice yeah, no, and flat yeah. and then you forget where they are. No, so. very <laughs> clever idea. A 039237, so you're getting three trays and your embossing powders for 14.99 that is good value that is really really good so uh if you'd like to get hold of that we've got that one uh, we need to talk about some of the stamps obviously um sarah was using the explosions there and actually very similar to what she just made but in different colors uh, is that card there this one was made by brenda yes I always yes. think the design team need a shout-out, you know. They yes. work really hard. Well, and that's they why never we told them to put their names on the back as well. Yeah, they put their names... Brenda's done a lot. We've also got Debbie. We've okay. got two different Debbies. Oh, well, this is Debbie Watts. <laughs> and then there's Debbie Dixon. And that one's Debbie Dixon. And then we've got uh, Debbie Dixon. Well, listen, you're all awesome because you make great, incredible uh, st um, samples, if you like. Right, so let's talk about the Starbursts and Sprouts. So... That's the starbursts, okay, and that is the sprouts, okay. Nothing to do with Brussels, okay. Those are, they are 
they are sprouts sprouting out of the ground basically I like them very much new today 2099 part of the flex extravaganza so you can spread the cost on these as well if you want to so there's those two right and remember these are your rubber stamps as well which is really nice to see I don't think I've picked up a rubber stamp for 10 years maybe literally <laughs> it's always been uh, polymer so next up the flockers there they are yeah the flockers uh, let's start with um, happy birthday you old bird it's back to front obviously but there's the size of the stamp for you happy birthday you old bird there you go uh, and then we have these fellas which are awesome yeah they, they, they'd need googly eyes on them definitely uh, and then we have this chappy here which he's very inquisitive he's the party animal yes <laughs> and then we've got this one here i'm not sure what this one is flying he's flying well, yeah, high flying, yeah. <laughs> but he's not the part i don't think he's the party animal this one i think he's running away um so there you go um and those 25.99 for all four of those some examples very quickly take a quick look at this one and you can see those three there here is that one that's flying with some shiny on the beak Diamond glaze. <laughs> Some diamond <laughs> glaze on the beak. Here's those three fellas. There again, look, I love the one looking from above there. And here is the other stamp in the collection that says, happy birthday, you old bird. There we go. I like that, I like that. Um, yeah, they say what, birthdays are only a number, aren't they? It's just that some of ours are a little higher than others. <laughs> yeah, I stopped counting. When people ask me, I'm like, I have to work it. No, oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's um, not important. Although so next year I've got a significant one. Yeah, yeah, I've given up counting. It's only a number, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the next one. This is the Celtic Knot and Cross. Now, the detail on these is extraordinary. So let me show you the cross first, OK? Which, again, is it's like a Celtic cross, isn't it? Um, and the detail on that is fantastic. Now, these come with their cling on the back, but there has a plastic protector that you would pull off to activate that clinginess. Um, and then, of course, you've got the Celtic knots as well, and there they are. So these two together, unbelievable uh, detail on these stamps, and I can prove that to you when I hold this card up here to have a look at the detail on uh, some of the, the, the knot uh, stamps there. Obviously, the starbursts are on there as well. Um, and if I bring in one with the cross on, one you haven't seen, you'll see the detail on the cross as well. It really is incredibly detailed, yeah? You could cut it out. Um, you could, yeah, uh, just a wonder. Uh, actually, here's a really nice one to show you because this has been gold embossed onto what looks like a film of some kind um, and using a bit of cardboard packaging. Well done, well done, Brenda. And alcohol inks to colour the acetate. Yep, alcohol ink on the acetate. I like to see it when people use, you know, what came from Amazon last week to, uh, <laughs> to package it up in. It's really, really good. OK, so those two, just 17 99 The star of the show so far, though, is the bead curtain. Nearly a quarter of the bead curtain die has gone. This is a background stamp. Long and short of it, it's a background stamp, and it looks like that. You get a lot of rubber for your money, 14 99 and it's going to create really nice backgrounds and I'm going to show you a handful of them right now let's start with one that uses the sprouts okay there you go so that's obviously the background and then the sprouts have been put on I, I rather the like this one I'm sorry Martin the, sorry. the card you just shown yes the, the the bead curtain has been inked and then spritzed onto the stamp so oh, that yeah, when you stamp look, it it's yes. kind of got a watered finish thank you Sarah <laughs> You're please feel free to butt in I don't mind so <laughs> I've not done this before, so <laughs> I'm fine. You please do. I want you to make sure that you go away saying, well, I'll I said everything about the stamps. At least I've got a word in. Uh, have a look at this one. This is really... OK, you can tell me about this one. This is really different. This it's got, like, a texture to it. It's clear embossed onto acetate. Because ah. our acetate is heat embossable. So, you, yeah, clear emboss the stamp so you can feel the texture, but it doesn't affect the design behind it. Yep. Get that. And yes, this has a, you can feel the texture of it, clear embossed onto acetate. Amazing. One more to show you. I showed you this one earlier, but I particularly like this one. Take a look at that. What's the technique on that one? Uh, Brenda made this one, so I'm assuming she's stamped on the front of the acetate and coloured the back with alcohol inks, maybe? She writes on the back, I Brenda know. does. Brenda, you're a star. Alcohol inks onto acetate stays on. Yes. <laughs> 
Do you know with, what? I wish I'd have read that before we'd have gone. You have to like... stamp the stays on on the opposite side to the alcohol inks because they're both alcohol based, so they don't work well together. Uh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, sir. I'm trying to find <laughs> another one of Brenda's. Angela C. We didn't mention her. Brenda, where are you? Where are you? Well, you've done that one, so I can't. Uh, no, I'll, we'll have to do it with another one. Are you testing me now? I was. I was. I was just going to be trying to be clever and say, "Oh, I know this one." <laughs> This is on, this is stamped on, anyway, thank you Brenda for helping out, Paul Sonny. Right, that was the beaded curtain. I've got some more designs before we get back for another demonstration to show you. Uh, and those designs include these beautiful frames. Okay, so you've got two frames here, the square postage frame and the flourished frame. Okay, so that's obviously the postage. That's the uh, frame. Let me show you the size of them. Obviously with my hands there, you'll see the size of them. Swap them around so that they match up. But there you go, so those are your two frames, they're really nice, you get a lot of use out of these, I can see photographs being uh, stamped around there. Um, the first one, have a look at that. See okay. these frames were sized to match the stamps that go in them, they're Judikins, and we've got all these kind of travel stamps as well as the Klimt, that's one of the Klimt ladies, um, and they all fit inside both frames. But there's the travels in India and Africa. I like them. Beaches. I rather <laughs> like this next one. Giraffes. <laughs> Look at that. How good is that? That's another Brenda special, that is. And she's actually got another one here as well. This, is, this was done by Debbie. But look, same idea. So there's I lots like of masking those. in that one with the Eclipse masking tape. This, yeah, the, 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 the images are fantastic. And you know what? I'm going to carry on with that theme because that one is awesome as well. Look at that. I don't know if you remember these from Create and Craft. They used to be wood mounted on the yeah. cubes. <laughs> I, I would guess Brenda probably used VersaVine for this. Probably, and yes, to get the detail. That, that looks to me very much like she might have used some of those amazing pan pastels on there oh, as yes, well. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Very good guess, Martin. Just a guess. Yes. Just a guess, obviously. <laughs> <coughs> uh, um, there we go. Right. Um, <laughs> let me put those down because they are, uh, they're very popular as well. Just fifteen ninety eight for those, but we've got more. OK, next up, now we are going to polymer stamps now because these are sentiments and they work really, really well with a sentiment. And you've got a whole bunch of sentiments here and at a great price as well. So these, this clear sentiment stamp set, 14 stamps, just 10 99 And let's have a look at those sentiments, shall we? So we have... I'm going to move them if that's OK. Do you mind if I pick them up so I can read them the right way around? So we've got best wishes, all my love. Hope your day is magical. All the best. Happy birthday. Belated birthday greetings just for you. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Different fonts. Congratulations. Hi. I'm thinking of you. All in those different fonts. And look at that. I knew these would be popular. In fact, the lines are getting otter and otter as we <laughs> talk. <laughs> Oh dear. Sorry, <laughs> I'm going home in half an hour. You're all right. I'm going home. Uh, <laughs> Six one four 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 seven is the item number. If you'd like to get only ten ninety nine for all those sentiments. Yes, for all those sentiments. Yeah, we thought we'd do them in clear. This, that, that was our first foray into clear stamps. Mm. And, and they're sentiments that you are going to use as well on yes. a regular basis. Okay, so. We've got greetings next as well. OK, so this one's greetings. Now, you can see that they've all been stamped out here. So just, just for you, birthday greetings, get well soon. Uh, there's one to a friend like you. It's nice to have a friend like you. Hugs and kisses, just to say happy birthday, love, best wishes, sorry, celebrate, hello, let's eat cake, have <laughs> a great birthday, and another happy birthday. Again, a uh, fantastic collection of sentiments there, Sarah. For every occasion. Yep, yeah, every single occasion. So 061418, just 1099 if you want to get hold of those. Right, I've got to show you some pictures and we're going to get some more stamping done. They're trying to get the flockers in again. Here they are. These are the original flockers. Uh, bottoms up, cling mounted rubber stamps. And there they are. Look, these are original. So if you haven't seen any of them yet, you can pick these up in the show. <laughs> and that's your stamp. Uh, bottoms up for you there. Um, so fantastic value and um, available. This one. Oh, now this is the diamond glaze. Now, we, what's about this? <laughs> I may have called it something else by accident, but this is your diamond glaze. There's a lot of you going for this. Um, I'm going to let you explain just quickly uh, yep. a line on this diamond glaze. Why we need to have it, Sarah? It's um, a clear dimensional adhesive that's water-based. 
So you can just use it to put little drops on something for the little raised glossy sections, or you can mix it with your reinkers, with your water-based pens and your inks to create brilliant backgrounds, especially on the acetates like you've seen. Um, it's also a fantastic glue. One time we were away at a show, one of the Stamparama shows, and the sole of my shoe fell off, so I stuck it back on with the diamond glaze. <laughs> Multi-use. Nice. Nice, look, here's an example of what it would do for you, this wonderful diamond glaze. Now, actually, incidentally, going completely off topic, you just mentioned Stamparama, didn't I did. you? did, yes. Isn't there one coming up soon? There is, the 13th of February. It's our first time in Newcastle. We've been running Stamparama since 1998 in Hertfordshire, and... Um, Two years before pandemic started, I, I've lost a couple of years, we, we br branched out to Harrogate, Worthing, um, and now Newcastle okay. and Newbury. So Newcastle is their first one this year. Wow. And the Excited. first time in Newcastle. So yeah. Joe Channon's going to be there, Glitzcraft are going to be there, Jill, Festival of Clay. Oh my. And some, those, stamparama.com, you can see all the exhibitors and all the different shows. Now, you can buy the tickets from us here at the Craft Staff for just £4. We'll remind you more about it later, but of course, you're going to get into the habit of going Stamparama. And new this year, Craftorama. Craftorama? At Alexandra Palace. Wow. I know. Seriously? <laughs> it was supposed to happen two years ago, but yes, it's finally happening in March this year. Craftorama at Alexandra Palace. So wow. that's, yeah, wow. craftorama.co.uk tickets uh, on the screen probably <laughs> yes they are indeed uh, you can get hold of that as well how excited you need to sign up banana rama to come and open the show you really do <laughs> right let's uh, go back to sarah for some more demonstrating shall we time is getting on halfway through okay so i'm going to stamp on some acetate with my trio of flockers and i'm using the stays on pigment Obviously, remember, when you're stamping on acetate, it needs to be a permanent ink pad. You could use archival, but I like the pigment stays on because it's nice and it's quite juicy. Right, yep, I got all that first time. That's good. And as I said before, my acetate is heat embossable. If yours isn't, leave it to dry for 10 minutes before you uh, turn it over and start colouring. So we'll give it a quick, a quick blast. Okay, so I'm going to colour with diamond glaze. So I'll turn that over. And what is this? Is an eye zinc reinker. So I'm going to squeeze some diamond glaze in my palette. If we give you the pins with the diamond glaze because sometimes the knob. The, knob, the, the nozzle becomes clogged so you just use the pin to clear the nozzle okay don't leave the pin in it so just clear the nozzle and then you're good to go so we've got oh can i get the lid off of this so any any of your reinkers i say we chose I tell you what that diamond glaze is proving popular sarah a quarter of the diamond glaze has gone now so we're just going to mix this because it's water-based you can use... So now you've got a coloured glue or a coloured glaze, yes? That's right, yeah, I've got a coloured glaze. So this is a, a nice that way to colour good. on the acetate. Mm. So let's no. pop that away. And I've got a very fine, tiny brush. So... And you can see, because I, if I'd added another drop, it might be more orange. But this one is it's looking quite yellow. And we're going to colour colour this in. Okay, so this is the boring bit. No, it's not. This is the this is the exciting bit. This is what everybody likes to see, you know. And this and is what everybody gets their uh, satisfaction from from actually doing the colouring themselves or the painting themselves. Well, and this is the bit I find relaxing. Exactly. When we're sitting there creating things. This is the bit where you you look forward to it. You know, it, it's. It's part of the process, isn't it? The yeah. stamping, I'm, no, no, I'm not being rude, but the stamping's <laughs> relatively easy. You are just putting ink on a stamp and pressing it down. Oh, you say that. You, you have no idea. No, I don't, do I? No. <laughs> no. Cue the hate mail. 
So a I'm bit like when I said, like that, like in the previous show with the lady in the bossing folders, and I said, <laughs> yeah, stamping, it's, it's gone out of fashion a bit, hasn't it? <laughs> right, Honestly, so, uh, I'm not going to leave that like to that. dry yet. I'm going to grab a little tiny tray and some glitter because diamond glaze is a glitter, a glue even, the glitter will stick. So we have glittery birds. Now, eyeballs. We want some little green. This is uh, an alcohol pen. Okay. So any alcohol pen will work on the acetate. And this is a white gel pen. So you can't really see it yet, but I'm just going around. Oh no, we can. Can you? Yeah, yeah. You're doing your own googly eyes here, aren't you? Yes, I am. Um, oh. Not very neatly, but... No, it's a great job. Don't forget, please, you can email in if you want to, studio at thecraftstore.com. I'd love to hear from you before I say goodbye for today. Um, don't know when I'll be back next, but hopefully very, very soon. I know I'm back on Crate and Craft on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> <coughs> so what I've already done is I've stamped and embossed the flourished frame in a black powder on a silver card and cut out the inside. And then I've created a panel to go inside it with the sprouts and some of our clouds. So that's going to go behind. And this one is already dried. You can see it was the same. So if I turn it over, pop it inside the frame. So you can see the eyes really pop out now. And then if you stamp a card with the bead curtain, which has been one of my favorite stamps for about 20 years. <laughs> so I'd try and sneak it in everywhere. So and that gives you your kind of your wallpaper background and a nice soft lilac. Looks amazing. And that's Honestly, that looks incredible. We've used foam pads behind the frame just to give it some depth as well. So it's like you're looking out the window and those birds are peeking in at you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they do. They're looking, if they're looking in at you, you're like, what's going on in there? Uh, right, now what I'm going to do very quickly while we get ready for another demonstration is to remind you of what we have on the show, but just by showing you pictures of it to make it quicker, folks. So let's go with the birthday flockers to start with, which is what you were just seeing being used. $25.99. Remember, Flex Stravaganza is in full swing at the moment, so you can spread the cost. Or you can go PayPal, pay in three as well, uh, to spread the cost as well. Uh, but these are... Uh, rubber stamps, cling mounted rubber stamps and that means the best quality that you can possibly get. They stopped making so many you know wooden backed rubber stamps quite a while ago for, for, for many good reasons. Storage was a nightmare to start with. Well our American friends still only sell wood mounted stamps. Right. Um, the, the market over there still wants the wood mounted stamps. It's the UK that has changed and so we, we adapted with it mm. to the, to the cling-mounted. Mm. Uh, you're just seeing the starbursts and the sprouts on the screen there. Uh, sprouts as in sprouting greenery, not, not Brussels. Uh, 068371 is that one, 2099 for those two. Um, the Celtic Knot stamps have been very popular as well. Remember, on these stamps, you've already got the, the cling mount on there, and then there's a plastic film on the back of the cling mount that you peel off, and that's when you can start using them on your stamping blocks or stamping um, platforms. So, the beaded curtain, by far the most popular. This is what I mean about the, uh, the cling on the back. You can see that it's already on there, and then if I just peel that away, you'll see that's when you and then you can put this back on afterwards and that's how it's going to cling to your stamping platform or stamping block mostly platforms these days isn't it people tend to use it depends what you're doing if you want to move the stamp around quite a lot one stamp in multiple places then the press is the best thing mm. but the platform for big stamps like this one and all of our detailed scenery the platform is definitely the way to go okay uh, so 14.99 that's the uh, beaded uh, curtain and it has proved very very popular indeed in this hour just 14.99 a lot of rubber for your money and the detail extraordinary now we mentioned Stamparama. Well, that Newcastle Stamparama is coming up. If that piqued your interest and you live in that area or you just fancy a trip up to Newcastle, this is what you need to know.
Stamparama, the incredible art, stamp and paper craft show will be taking place in the Grand Hall Newcastle Racecourse on Sunday the 13th of February. Come along and meet many of the UK's most dedicated and gifted craft experts, all available to inspire you with their knowledge and expertise. Tickets are available to purchase in advance from the craft store for only £4. So, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Get yourself to Stamparama. You can see the wonderful Sarah in person right there. Uh, which I don't call her Debbie, though. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go back for some more demonstrations. Don't forget you can pick any of these up at any point during the show. And don't forget it's Flex Extravaganza uh, and many great ways of taking advantage. Of course, there's the Freedom Club as well. Many great advantages of taking uh, advantage of your uh, best, best prices here at uh, the craft store. Back to you, Sarah. Back to me. Okie dokie. Right, I have some vellum in my platform and my bead curtain. So I'm using my clear embossing ink pad. So this is where the, the platform, yes. I usually call it the hingy thing because I can never remember what it's called. But this is where it is invaluable. When, when we had this on wood, we used to often put it on the floor and stand on it just to make sure that we got a good impression first time. So if I'm working at home, I will always stand up to do this bit because you need to really push down and lean because there is so much detail in the image. So I'm going to go again. Because it's clear, it's hard to see. I do find when using embossing ink on vellum, I usually go three times just to be safe. Make sure I haven't missed anything. And I forgot my own rule. Turn it around with the hinge towards you for the best pressure. OK, that should be enough. Pull that out. And now we will find out. So white embossing powder in my snappy tray. Once you, if you've got one of the trays, you don't have to be delicate with the powder. Just dump the whole pot on there, because it will all go back in. Look at that. It's all there. Lovely. Now, here's the question. Do you, in, do you heat from in top or behind when you've got it on vellum like this? I heat from above, unless there's a particular little spot that just won't melt. Sometimes okay. you get one. Then I will do that bit from underneath. Okay. But that usually happens on earth, like a thick card. Vellum tends to go quite quickly. And I always start in one corner and then work. I try and work methodically across. But Judikin's embossing powders are very good and that it's very hard to overheat them. Some powders, if you overheat, they go flat. So we just mm. slowly follow it round Again. as it melts. Many, if that was in gold now, people would be, you know, absolutely agog. It's not that quite that easy to see when it's in white, is it? When it's in <laughs> no. You don't see it changing so no. much. Well, but the that subtlety doesn't matter. is the key here. That, that, no, <laughs> that doesn't matter. The, the concept is the important thing. And I want to stress again that these are cling-mounted rubber stamps. It's actually a long time since I've done any stamps like that. They've always been the clear stamps. So it is really nice to be able to bring you these. Uh, and they are still an incredible important part of stamping because the detail on them is extraordinary as shown in the Celtic cross in this, uh, this bead as well. You can see it's getting brighter now as it's being yeah, heated up. Yeah, you can see it's melting. I'm kind of two thirds of the way across. But yeah. um, our stamps have even more detail now than before. I think it was during, just after the first lockdown, we were having trouble getting supplies to make stamps. Yes. And yes. our friends at Chocolate Baroque recommended someone that etches metal plates instead of us making the plates that we used. While you're just doing that, yep. they've asked me to just show a couple more <laughs> examples of the bead curtain because, you know, um, you're not really seeing the colour change on that. So, um, look at this one. I mean, look at them all, to be honest. I mean, that's really nice. That's a Debbie Watts card. So you've look got the sprouts that. in there too. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would guess you used distressed inks on the background. Just a wild, wild <laughs> guess on that one. 
Um, and regular uh, distress inks or oxide inks? It, look at this. <laughs> Those are our go-go dancers. Look at that. That's like backstage here. The, when I'm when I'm leaving the door, when I'm leaving the building. That, so that's hey, the bead cut on acetate again, isn't it? Fool. For a subtle. Um, it's almost like looking through raindrops. I'll show you this one. This is by Brenda as well, right? Uh, and this one, um, I'll let you tell. It's written on the back, but it looks like dude spray. Dude spray? That's what it looks like to me. What do you reckon? <laughs> dude. It looks like dude spray. <laughs> is that oxide? Oxide spray. Now I look at it, it says oxide. Look, yeah. Look there. O, oh, and then there's an X. But a glance at that, that was dude spray. <laughs> And that's is that I a, new, a new, of, yeah. new deodorant uh, aroma, is it? I don't know. Hey, dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, anyway. <laughs> Versafine. You've also got... Um, uh, you know what? It looks just great, doesn't it? That's, I can't yeah, read the rest of them. Yeah, it looks fabulous. However she made it. <laughs> that bead curtain is proving very popular. A third of the stock of the bead curtain has gone. Let's go back to Sarah, because the heat tool has gone. And she's doing something else now. Yes, so I've um, turned it over. I just say, if you have one of the pointy heat guns, it will go a lot quicker. But I always use this one because we do a lot of shrink plastic, which you can't do with the long pointy one. It's too much work. So <laughs> I am colouring inside the circles on the back. And I'm, using, I'm just using my alcohol-based pen. You could use any water-based pen because it's vellum but just filling in the gaps in the circles. So when I turn it over, we've got a little bit of color. So I turn it over, you can see, can see the green, just about. So I'm gonna take my crease card now and a piece of scrap paper, just pop that there. So back to my starburst, let's move that out of the way. Got my starbursts and I've got some Versafine Claire. I've got Charming Pink and Summertime. Okay. Which is an orange. So let's start with the pink. Nice and vibrant. So we want the. Oh, I didn't stick it to my block first. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Okay, let's go there. We're going really vibrant because we're putting the vellum over the top. Mm. So we want it to shine through. And I'm using the old fashioned, if I had my press, I would use my press now, but. I don't know, I don't know whether this is me just talking rubbish or not, but from what I can see, when you have a rubber stamp like that, yes. you seem to get a sharper in it, image than with a clear stamp. <laughs> and with the clear stamp, if you push down hard on it, it squidges. It depends on the manufacturer. Right. If you but uh, if you push down, it is too entirely hard, it possible. Yes. But I don't think you could make that squidge because the rubber is a much more compound. Yes. You know. We we cook it at three hundred degrees. Right. Okay. In a vulcanizer. That's just what. That's just randomly come into my head. <laughs> the fact that you know yes. you could smudge that if it was in a clear stamp if you put too much pressure on it. Well, that's why we have the sentiments and only a few things in the clear because we like to stamp into the molten embossing powder we like to stamp into the hot shrink plastic and I've been informed you can do that with some polymer stamps but not all of them so you depends if you want to risk damaging your clear stamps but we can do it with rubber because it's cooked at a much higher temperature very good quality that's what these stamps are all about Quality. If you treat it right, it should last a lifetime. Right, we've had a few emails this hour. I'm going to read one of them now. I haven't seen it. It's from, uh, it's from he I've got two actually, from Helen. Um, Helen Johnson who said, uh, Hi Sarah Martin. That's really weird when my wife's called Sarah. <laughs> right. uh, I know at least six Martins. My husband's called Martin. With a Y? No, with an oh, I. I see, there you go. Not the same, is it? Uh, I'm loving so the show and all the great <laughs> stamps. I thought you were doing well, Martin, with not saying Crate and Craft. Yeah, I know. Got a, I got a Crate and Craft in, Adam. Yes, just slipped sure. out. You know, it's one of those things. 22 years of saying the same thing. It just, you know, it just, it just slipped out, basically. Um, only for you to prove me wrong with the email address. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It had to happen. There's probably people emailed the other address now to, like, to, uh, and they're going, 
Mark Martin, oh, what's he? he's not in today. Anyway, I'm sitting back now watching all the lovely demos with all the fabulous stamps before... Well, don't hang around, Helen, deciding what to go for. And then one more, Amanda in Wigan says, Hi there, loving the show. The demonstrations are lovely to watch. I'm normally a Crate and Craft viewer, but thought I'd watch Martin's shows. Bless you, Amanda. Don't forget, we're all going to be one big happy family very, very soon. Uh, she said, I'm looking forward to what's to come with the craft channels. So are we. Keep up the great work. Thank you very, very much, Amanda. And thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Let's go back. <laughs> My to husband, Sarah. Martin, and I met at a friend's engagement party, and they were called Sarah and Martin as well. No yes, way. That's how we met. I bet that gets a bit confusing when you're sending cards out, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> which, was, which I think was a um, 35, 40 years, I don't know. It's a long time ago. I met my wife when you had to get, you had to be in couples to go into a, a nightclub. <laughs> seriously, seriously. Uh, my, my friend had met a girl. Uh, we were in the raff at time and he said, oh, I'm, going to, I'm going to see her, but I don't want to go on my own. I'm way too cool. Will you come with me? I'm like, oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Got there. She said the same. So then when we went to the nightclub, you had to go in with somebody. So I, we needed to go in with me. I said, can I buy you a drink? And she went, no, I'm a working girl, I can buy her my own drink. I thought, I love you. <laughs> that was love at first sight. I asked her to marry me a week later. <laughs> I did. She said, she said no. <laughs> a week later, I asked her to marry me. She said no. So we left it for seven years after that. And then we got, finally got married 27 years ago, <laughs> 28 years ago. So there you go, Sarah Martin. Well, she's a Sarah Jane. Her name is officially Sarah hyphen Jane. Yeah, no, mine's not hyphenated. OK, so I've finished my background and uh, then my vellum is going to go on the top and I've stamped out the the party time party animal flocker and I'm going to put a little wobble on the back and then when I layer it all together stick it with some brads that's what he looks like oh look at that <laughs> look at that they are they are brilliant images they really yeah. are they're quirky so, fun yeah fun. And it, everybody you know, it's can relate to them any gender Yes, I agree with that as well. <laughs> Any party. All occasions. Yes. I do yeah. like the happy birthday, you old bird. That's, <laughs> I mean, that's the, that's the sort of thing you send that to a friend, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Well, it was my uncle's birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, old man. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh, right, we need to show you some of the other things that we've got because we're running out of time. Let's go with the bead curtain, which has been absolutely the most popular stamp in the show. Uh, 14 99 new today, 344047. That is the bead curtain background, and there's so much you could do with that. You really, really could. 344047. Uh, then we've got the Celtic knot and the Celtic cross, or just cross. So these two. I can't stress the detail on these enough, particularly the cross, and you will get every little bit of that detail out in your stamping of this cross. Here's one that's stamped onto, hang on a minute, Brenda says, stays on detail. There's no dude spray in this anyway, but <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No, there's alcohol that is, in that one. <laughs> that is, oh yeah, that's alcoholic. That's awesome. Look at that. And the detail is fantastic. So those two together, 1790. You only ever buy these once. The only time you'd ever need to rebuy something like this is if you lost it, because the quality of the stamps go on and on and on. Or you lend it to a friend and they decide to keep it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Right, flockers next, um, and it's the um, it's well, it's all flocker flockers to be honest. Um, it's the Stamp Addicts Birthday Flockers, uh, the Cling Mounted Collection, and you're getting all of these here. So you've got the Happy Birthday Old Girl, you've got the, the Flying Bird, you've got the Smiley Bird, and then you've got those three characters there. Quirky and awesome, really are. $25.99 gets you stamps so you could use on any card you're making. 647361. Um, then we've got the stir Starbursts and the Sprouts, yes? Okay, starbursts and sprouts. So starburst, you saw Sarah using one of those uh, many times, and then you've got the sprouts as well. And they're nothing to do with Brussels. They literally are. But there um, is nothing wrong with Brussels sprouts. No, there isn't. I can tell you a story if we've got time. <laughs> it was when I was little. My mom said you've got to eat your greens, right? And I'm like, uh, I can't. A green cabbage, green sprout uh, makes me gag, right? So all through my life, I've not eaten sprouts or green cabbage. I love white cabbage, red cabbage, leeks, beans. Can't eat green cabbage or sprouts. Uh, makes me gag. It was proven a couple of years ago that you're born with either one of these genes or two of these genes. I can't remember which way around it is, but if you're born with one of them, cabbage and sprouts taste nice. If you're born with two of them, cabbage and sprouts do not taste nice and make you, make you gag, right? <laughs> I wish to God I could have told my mom when she was alive about that, I can tell you, when they were trying to force-feed me 
cabbage and sprouts because it's good for you. And I physically wasn't made to eat them. There we go. Uh, we're going over here, aren't we? Um, oh, no, hang on, hang on. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Got carried away. <laughs> Let me take you to... It's been, a, it's been an awesome day. I've got, I really have got carried away now. I've said the wrong name. I've called her the wrong name. Crazy. I take you to the website when I go over here. There we go. I forgot about the cameras. Sorry. OK, so um, uh, we're on the website to show you everything that you can get there. Everything that you can get, uh, including the sprouts and uh, the flockers and all of them. A fantastic collection of stamps. It's a real pleasure to pick up rubber stamps again uh, it really is uh, and the detail of them is mind-blowing before we're gonna go uh, before we go I want to show you the original flockers very very quickly uh, here they are so you have the originals here so I've got three to show you because uh, the sentiment on this one is bottoms up obviously it's the wrong way around because it's a stamp but there they are there's the images and here's a few quick samples now that I reckon there's a grandma or an auntie in everybody's family that they'd identify with that, wouldn't they? Yes, yeah, so the reason we put bottoms up, because obviously it's either bottoms up with the drink or the other one's got his, his upside down, you see. What's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. He's lost something. OK, so you can get those, <laughs> 971053. Uh, we've got a minute left. Is there anything we haven't covered, Sarah? Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't think so. Follow no? me on Instagram, YouTube. When are you back next? Um, end of February. OK. Fingers crossed. Uh, don't forget those trays. I love the trays, the, the idea snappy. of the well, tidy the trays. Well, big one as well, which yes. is really easy to use. And then you've got yeah, the little ones for all the lots of different powders and beans There's a bigger one. Yeah. There's a bigger one that comes with an anti-static <laughs> bag as well. So do check the website for all of those, everybody. There's the details for it right there. Right, I've had a day. It's been absolutely brilliant. I've worked with people that I haven't seen for such a long time. It's been an amazing pleasure. Those of you who emailed in, including my wife, who even watched me for the first time in umpteen years. I heard. I was in the studio earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, emailed in as well. So I've had a really, really good time of it. I, I have. I got to work with Pal. I got to work with Sarah. And I'm going to hand you over now to the brilliant Adam, who will take you through the rest of the day. I hope to see you back on the Craftsaw very, very soon, folks. See you later. Thank